everyone, I'm back. Hello? What the hell? Hey, Brian's home. What the hell is going on? Nothing, nothing. Just working on a family project. Getting in some together time. I have a crossbow. Chris has a crossbow. Okay, well... Uh, I'm back from agricultural school, and I might have the solution to our farming trouble. I brought some heirloom tomato seeds. That's nice, Brian. Here's a new kind of meth you put in your pee hole. Wh what Oh, yeah, we're meth dealers now. Yeah, you missed it. My teeth came in and then fell out again. I don't believe this. Are you guys insane? We're rich is what we are. Look at all that cash, Brian. He, he don't get none of that. He wasn't here for it. Well, this is just great. I turn my back for a month, and this place turns into a drug den. For your information, it is also a drag queen hangout. Hey, look, our meth is on the news. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, methamphetamine is flooding into Quahog in epidemic amounts and is believed to be originating from the nearby rural community of Farmton. Farmton, that's the name of the place we live. I forgot to mention that earlier. For more on the story, we now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Oh, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Oh, my God. We're hurt in our own hometown. All those drugs that are flooding into Quahog are from us. Oh, yeah? Well, if we're dealing so many drugs to Quahog, why is the Quahog envelope so light this week? Yeah, I say we go down there and talk to those people in Quahog. No, this is what I'm talking about. Meth has turned us into monsters. Lois, take it easy. No, you know what? This is my own fault for listening to you. I forgot you don't even know your ass from a hole in the ground. Is that... Is that my ass? Lois, where the hell are you going? I'm going back home to Quahog, where I belong. If any of you want to come with me, you're welcome to. First of all, you sat in something green and it's on your butt, so no one's going to follow you. And second, no one's going to leave a place where there are tons of beakers for a place where there are zero beakers. Peter, don't you see? We left Quahog because of the crime problem, but now we've become part of that problem. Yo, what is this bitch tripping about? Look at our lives, Peter. Look at our family. I don't recognize us anymore. It's time to go back to Spooner Street and be the Griffins again. Let's go, Peter. Let's go back to Quahog. But, but what about this farm and this house and the lab inside the house, which is currently producing an incredibly volatile and explosive batch of thermoreactive... There were a lot of Rottweilers in that house. Well, it's good to be back in our old house. How did we get this place back, by the way? Well, luckily the value of this place plummeted because this is a meth town now. You know, I think the lesson here is that if your community has problems, you don't abandon it. It's better to stay put and help fix those problems. That's right, Lois, because wherever you run to, your problems have a funny way of finding you. Oh, my God, it's Jody Sweeten. Quick, everyone lie on the floor. Peter, come on. I've got Maureen McCormick with me. She'll let you finish anywhere. Okay, everyone hide upstairs. Daddy's going to take care of this. 